What people believe at this time is that we have the humor system. So that means we have four humors, black bile, yellow bile, blood, and phlegm. In order for us to be healthy, all four humors have to be balanced. So the main humor is blood. We have a fleam to do bloodletting. If you're sick, you come to me and I will cut the wrist, the arm, the foot, or the back of the neck and bleed you into what we call a bleeding dish or a bleeding pan. Leeches, they think are good for headaches. So for a headache, they think you have bad blood in your head, so we apply a leech to the forehead and the back of the ear. Another way to balance the humor is through the stomach, what we call purging. To start, we have Epicac, makes you throw up, but nobody likes to throw up. So we take laxatives instead. It's a mix of different ingredients as well as mercury is added. There's always the risk of getting shot at this time, especially if you're in a battle. So we have to remove those bullets. But it's what we call a bullet probe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to poke around and listen for the bullet, right? The bullet, which is made of lead, is gonna sound different than the bone, right? So once I find it, I can pull it out my forceps. If it's stuck in a bone, potentially, I can drill into the ball, pull it out that way, and then we go ahead and burn that wound shut. But the issue at this time is that doctors don't think they have to clean their tools. You might get what we call an abscess or a pus buildup. We're gonna find where that abscess is, pop it in, and drain all the pus out. So to deal with infection, especially if it's in the arms or legs, is an amputation. This is your tourniquet to start. We're gonna put this over the wound as tight as possible. The capital knife is used to make in one smooth cut, a cut down to the bone, and then you have your bone saw. So we do have painkillers at this time. You have pure opium powder. We have opium and whiskey mix called laudanum. And you have morphine developed in the early 1800s. This is almost 200 years ago. Right? So 200 years from today, they're gonna look at our medicine the same way we look at this medicine. We need this to ground us and help us appreciate what we have today.